Hi, I'm Freddy from Nugen Audio, and today I'm talking about Sigmod. Sigmod is a modular kind of utility belt plugin, which essentially allows you to kind of hack the routing of the signal within your door. And it also compensates for features which might not be available in your door, depending on which door you're using. Um, so you can see the full list of modules here. There's mute solo, delay, tap, crossover, phase, trim, DC offset, protect, insert, mid-side, switch, mono, and split. So I won't go through each of those modules individually. I'm just gonna talk a little bit about some of the most exciting modules, um, and then by all means, download a free trial and check out the rest of them for yourself. The latest version of Sigmod, we've just recently updated this, now allows you to run it in mono as well as stereo and also split mono, which means that you can treat the left and right signals completely independently from each other. And my two probably favorite modules within Sigmod are the insert module and the mid-side module. The insert module allows you to host plugins within Sigmod. So for me personally, as someone who mainly uses Pro Tools, this is really useful because it means I can still use plugins which might only exist in VST2, VST3 or AU. Because Pro Tools only supports AAX, ordinarily I wouldn't be able to use those plugins in a Pro Tools session. But Sigmod essentially acts as a host for those, which means that I can um, browse all my plugins on my machine. You can see there's a lot of new gen plugins in there as well. Um, and then run them via Sigmod. So here I've got this compressor, which I like a lot, but I can only get in VST. You can see that's now being hosted within Sigmod. And it means that even though I'm using Pro Tools, I'm not limited to only using AAX plugins. My other favorite is the mid side module. So I've added that in here. You can insert any module on this um, settings screen. The mid side module allows you to convert any stereo left right signal into a stereo mid side signal. So that means that you can force any third party plugin to working in mid side mode, even if it doesn't have mid side mode natively. So if you've got an EQ that you really like that doesn't work in mid side, or if you've got a compressor you really like that doesn't work in mid side, or even if you want to do something a little bit wild and you've got a reverb that you really like that you want to try using in mid side, you can place Sigmod with the mid side module on either side of that. So I'm using it here with the insert module in the, mi in the middle. So I'm gonna switch on my mid-side encoder on the left and my mid-side decoder on the right. And that means that this compressor in the middle is now using mid-side mode. But I don't have to do that within Sigmod. I can set up three plugin inserts, one with Sigmod with the mid-side decoder and whatever other stereo plugin I want in the middle. So it's really flexible in terms of your audio signal routing. Other things that you're able to do with the tap and crossover modules is set up effects sends. So you can set up an effects send in the middle of a signal chain rather than pre effects or post effects. The possibilities pretty much are endless. If you have any questions about Sigmod, then please contact your Sweetwater sales engineer.